and tallies on the season. Eight meters out, Hart scores! Well, it takes fewer than two minutes on their home campus. The top seeded Stony Brook Seawolves are on the board. Goal number 60 for Kaylin Hart. Kaylin Hart, the natural lefty, steps in low to high, fires it to that top right corner. That deception on that free position shot. She drew this foul off of a shooting space. Seawolves had sh two shooting space calls on that one possession so far here early. They're able to capitalize on the second free position shot, courtesy of Kaylin Hart. by just one goal. On the doorstep, they score. <laughs> Annalie Vandiver left open at the doorstep. And the Elon Phoenix have their first tally of the postseason. And it was exactly that. Left open, catch and finish. You see too many Stony Brook defenders kind of slotting up that high elbow before they're able to send that across the crease. Mia Zebley able to draw up the side and then be able to turn Did go in, they will count it. Whistle came before the shot, but they will give the continuation to Elon. The Phoenix have their third tally. None other than Sammy Fisher, right off of that initial roll dodge, when she came out of it, she drew the shooting space call. And it was at the same time as she was releasing her shot. That is why they allow the goal to stand. If the foul had happened prior to her releasing the shot, then they would put her on the free position line. But as it happened simultaneously, that shot goes, and it's a two-goal game. Verholz, the top shot percentage in the conference, over 57%. She's done it again. It's a first-half hat trick for Charlotte Verholz. And the Seawolves have doubled up the Phoenix, make it 6-3. Verholst right off of that center hash there. A nice low bouncer that just kind of gets Caitlin Walsh guessing. Those crashes to the inside. Ball recovered, shot in the goal. <laughs> Kaylee McKenna found the ball, and then found the bottom left corner. The Elon Phoenix not going away at 6-4. Kaylee McKenna. She was open, they were looking for her. Ball just kind of bounced its way to her. And once again, it's Mia Zebley on the assist, on the look there. She's getting her eyes to the inside of last week. It was kind of a goalie battle, so to say. Masera gets her defender down and delivers. Seven for Stony Brook. Some dancing and dashing by the CAA midfielder of the year. And she takes advantage. From the Phoenix looking like they had just caused a turnover. Now back on their heels, Masera toward goal, scores. First half hat trick for Ellie Masera. And in the blink of an eye, the Seawolves have doubled up the Phoenix, make it 8-4. Yeah, as you mentioned, Johnny, a little bit of confusion on the call there that gets Ellie Masera to the free position line, but once she does, she is able to create space by just utilizing her speed. Her speed is one of her greatest facets, and then the way that she's able to protect her stick and tucked as she gets, gets towards the middle. Now they'll settle in, down to Kaylin Hart, she scores. Stony Brooks one-two punch, back at it again. Ellie Masera finds Kaylin Hart. And the first goal of the second half belongs to Stony Brook, now 9-4. Behind the cage, scooped up by McQuarrie. Final five seconds for Stony Brook, and it's in! <laughs> Holst, another win by Stony Brook. Masera still going. Down to the doorstep, Kaylin Hart scores again. It's two tallies in nine seconds. And now she's past Taryn Miller. Streaker catches and scores. Number five for Kaylin Hart. She continues her stellar postseason play as a Stony Brook Seawolf. And for the first time this afternoon, a 10-goal cushion for Joe Spolina's group. 
Lots of room for Levy. Off to the right, a shot, Nicole. Lucky number seven for Kalen Hart. But it doesn't stop the scoring. Number 17 for SBU, and it does come on the man advantage. Cassidy Millen, the freshman, RSVPs yes to the goal party. Up to a 13 goal cushion for Stony Brook. Good look here from Stony Brook's Jolie Creo, and a beautiful cut from Cassidy Millen. God. Final five seconds here in the first semifinal matchup. Phoenix looking for their first goal of the second half. They will not get it. The 14th ranked Stony Brook Seawolves remain undefeated and unblemished in the Coastal. They are moving on to the CAA final for the second consecutive season. Your final, Stony Brook 17, Elon 4.